Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beamer Zite channel. My name is Rich and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to diagnose the failed transfer case gear or failed transfer case actuator in your E53X5 or your E83X3. And in today's video, I'll show you how the small plastic gear can fail and what you can do to easily repair it, cheaply repair it, and let's take a look and see what are the things to look for that indicate your transfer case gear has failed. Now, if you've arrived at this video, you're probably Google searching the trifecta of lights, and that is known as what happens when the brake, ABS, and the 4x4, or traction control light, all come on at once. That's those three lights together is known as the trifecta of lights. And that can also um, be a problem with the ABS module, but more often than not, when the 4x4 light comes on as well, it's an indicator that there's a problem with the transfer case gear in your car. One other interesting symptom that you may or may not experience when the transfer case gear has failed is a clicking coming from underneath the driver's side of the car right here. So if we open the door, right here is where you will hear the clicking coming from when you turn off the car. And this can be intermittent as I've experienced. So first open your door, then turn off the car and listen for the clicking. Just as a note, if your car does not have this clicking sound, that doesn't necessarily mean that your transfer case gear is okay. In fact, when our transfer case gear first failed on this car, the clicking did not happen for quite a while. And when it did click, it was intermittent, meaning that sometimes I would open the door and shut off the car, it wouldn't do it, and then sometimes it would do it, depending on really the position of the failed teeth on that gear within the motor. So that would determine how often it would click or not. But the definitive way to make sure you know that the transfer gear has failed is to get a scan tool, scan the car, and see if you have this code. You are gonna need something like this Creator C310, which I'll link in the description below. This is about 50 or $60 on Amazon. And this will allow you to scan the car and verify what the codes are um, to find out exactly what's going on with the transmission and the transfer case. Once we've plugged in our tool to the OBD2 port, we're gonna go into the chassis section and DSC, dynamic stability control. And we'll check and see what codes live in that section of the computers. Now the great thing about this tool is that once you purchase it, you no longer have to pay for diagnostic fees at BMW, which can be anywhere from one to two hours labor at $150 per hour. It gets quite expensive anytime you need to scan for a check engine light or any of these other lights that may pop up from time to time. And as you can see here, we have the code 5F39, transfer case internal failure. And oftentimes, this is a scary thing to see because some dealerships, depending on where you take your BMW, will tell you that you need a new transfer case. Or, you know, not just dealerships, other third-party shops as well. Now, depending on where you live in the country and how good your third-party mechanic or repair shop is, they may tell you that you need a new transfer case. And that's just simply not the case with this problem. Nine out of 10 times, according to the BMW techs that I've spoken with at BMW dealerships here in Connecticut, nine out of 10 times, it's simply this plastic gear that has failed. Now, this gear I am selling, I have a link in the description below where you can purchase it. This is the plastic gear where the teeth get damaged from the metal worm gear that rides against it over time. And as these X5s and X3s are reaching nearly 20 years old, which is hard to believe, these little plastic gears fail. This replacement transfer case gear is made with carbon fiber reinforced plastic to ensure that it will go the distance for the remainder of the time that you own your car. And I'll have a link to this gear in the description below where you can order it and it features a lifetime warranty. To see how to install this gear into your car, please see my step-by-step -step video guide linked in the description below, which will show you exactly how to install this gear in your car using basic hand tools, and it will only take about one to two hours, depending on your mechanical competence. 
As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please support this channel by clicking the like button, subscribe, or leave a comment for me in the comment section below.